What's up, New York? I'm here with Yay Not Gaming. What's up? We're at RPM Raceway. We're about to go go karting with the squad. Goofy don't win. Maybe. I, I, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna win. Everybody's saying they're coming in first, and I'm like, I'm from New Jersey, I know how to drive. They're from all over the country. They don't even know what driving is like. Y'all know how I'm coming, man. Got the six, you know, my favorite number. It's a GG now, man. It's over. All right, I gotta lock in, leave me alone. Hey, mama. come on, man. I overlap everybody except Idris. The rest of them cannot drive. They not ready. I know what I'm doing now, I got it. I was going too fast around the turns. I got it now though. Nobody overlapping me, I promise you that. Hey, Mark said nobody overlapping him. Right here. I'm right here. Right here. Come on, man. Overlap me how? If me and you were together the entire time. Um, where the time at? Let me see the time at. Oh, Kuda wasn't even in the race. Oh. Bro, I had like the best lap. No, you didn't. Yes, I, I, I did. Lap? Last course, I feel kind of cheated because my second lap didn't count. So I'm starting in last place here. But I'm starting last, I'm gonna end in first. Watch. Get set, go! Number one, baby. Come on now. Come on, baby. Felt great. Feels good to be number one for once. I would have liked to see Kuda a little bit further in that last one so we could have some, but he was a little bit too slow, so. They're all lying about like how they race. So like now I'm like mad. So it wasn't it wasn't the best, but this was an excellent bonding experience for me and my teammates. It brought us closer and it, um, it run the competitive side out of all of us. It's gaming! What I do with my first Knicks Gaming paycheck was pay my rent. The first thing I do with my Knicks Gaming paycheck, I bought three pair of shoes. My first Knicks Gaming paycheck, I bought a pair of sneakers for my daughter and I bought a pair of sneakers for myself. The first thing I did with my Knicks gaming paycheck is put it all in the bank. What did I do with my first Knicks game? Um, I paid off some bills, so I gotta pay my car bill and stuff, so. When I first received my Knicks gaming paycheck, first thing I did was leave it in the account that it was put in, I haven't touched it, I don't plan on touching it. Favorite food that I've eaten since I've been here? Probably, obviously, the pizza here. Mmm, it's tough. My favorite food in New York City is definitely Italian. I think the East Coast does the best. I enjoy uh, a, a good slice from uh, New York Supreme. So it's like right across the street from the garden. My favorite food since I've been in New York would have to be the pizza. I don't, I don't have one. Favorite restaurant here in New York City to me, and it's only because I've gone there so many times, so that's what I, t I find the best, is Applebee's. Everybody has their own little taste, but I haven't gone anywhere very fancy enough yet to know what, what's out there, but I've gone to different places like BBQs, Applebee's, IHOP, but I'd say Applebee's is hands down number one for me. The best thing I can cook is breakfast, eggs, bacon, and waffles. I'm kind of new in the whole cooking game, so I don't have too much experience, but I would say so far, I can cook like a good steak and potato and uh, you know, like some green beans or something like that. The best thing I could cook is macaroni and cheese. I'm getting really mean with the chicken breasts and uh, like having like a side of like rice, potatoes, or like mac and cheese or something. I can make, lay down a mean egg. I cook a pretty good plate of pasta with sometimes homemade sauce. Shout out my dad, he makes the best homemade sauce. Um, and then a nice side of salad and some chicken. <laughs> out to today behind the scenes the, the way they are playing the casters the commentators the coaches the players all of it 
in a whole industry feeling about esports. So we're showing the whole thing of esports and how it goes. 2K10 is when I actually started to like take it sort of serious and then... Once I introduced the league, um, that's why I knew I was going to play every single day uh, to get better so I can uh, play alongside some of these guys. When the 2K league came around, people was like, bro, you need to play. Uh, you need to try out for that. They can kind of kind of get some insight from us of you know how we grew up and and what what journey we took to get here it's pretty cool to to just show them the ropes of how to be a gamer and, and get them a, a a tune in into our lifestyle i just want to know how your family and friends reacted when you told them that you were going to play video games professionally my friends always knew i was gonna uh, do something with 2k uh, pro wise everybody always supported me but they didn't really believe that it was like a thing. For almost like six or seven years, my family kind of just got accustomed to, you can make money through video games. Um, so when this league was announced as like the NBA's fourth branch, it kind of just legitimized it even more. I think it finally gives them a vision, a visual, what it can really become with esports and gaming and what the kids can really get through. And just one day they can actually become this. The parents need to uh, make sure school always first will uh, ease up off them if they want to play games because they can make a great career off it. Out of all of you guys, who do you think is the best at 2K? <laughs> That's my favorite question. Everybody is the best at something. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's not an overall somebody the best. We got Squarespace hookers up with our own controllers. I talked to a couple pros about this. And, oh, I wish I had this when I was a kid. Just the opportunity of getting something like this in an educational setting where they're learning and rather, rather than just playing, just hopefully take the anti out of anti-social and gaming and really getting them to come together and play. Having them be like an esports program uh, is something all of us never had growing up. So it's really cool to have these kids come in and really get to get to learn how how we work every day. When I was a kid, I used to look at other people and it like kept me out of trouble. It motivated me so far. Us to be able to get these kids like motivation and an opportunity to do something they love is, is great. Video games are like a viable option now. You can actually make a living playing video games. You can have a career in video games, whether it be playing, whether it be the business side of it, the marketing side of it, anything like that. If you look at these kids now, it's like I feel like they're all better than we are to be honest. And and once they get to our age, they're gonna just kick us out of the industry, honestly. <laughs>
in the in the NBA. Uh, my favorite player is Steph Curry, and he's kind of reinvented the point guard position position really uh, in real life. He's sort of revolutionized it. So um, I'm hoping to kind of do the same thing, and just knowing to have that support and that confidence from my teammates and from my coach uh, is great for me. And then moving forward, hopefully I can just keep that momentum. They go to Goofy. Why not? 20 points in the half. He's 10 for 10. He's yet to miss a shot. I told Kuda that they don't have any pick and roll defense. And um, he has no paint defense at all in general. So just throw him the ball and let me work. With the Bucks kind of respecting me more and respecting my three-point shot, it meant that the paint was going to be open. And as soon as he rolled and as soon as I saw that, he had just an inch of space ahead of uh, his defender. As soon as I saw that he had the step, I made sure I just gave him the ball as quick as possible. Adam to Goofy. Lost the heat indicator. It doesn't matter. Psych! <laughs> Goofy gets a one-on-one -on -one in the paint, he's going to score nine times out of ten. I mean, this game, it, it seemed like ten times out of ten. I think there was just a point in the game where even when teams were throwing doubles at him, he was still scoring every single time. He just could not be stopped. They feed him again. Me and him being such a good duo, they don't, they honestly don't know what to do because, you know, I set good screens for Kuda, and Kuda also knows how to get himself open off the screen. So, you know, me and him, we just got that chemistry down, Pat. Picked up by Nate. That could be the dagger. 85-74. The game was just in my favor. And um, you know, I was just I was just feeling it. I was, I was hot. You know, I let the game come to me and I just did what I had to do. They go to him again. Double team, it doesn't matter. 40 for Goofy. 90 to 81. Knicks with a victory here over Milwaukee. Falling to the Pistons really kind of, it, it refocused us a little bit, and I think we saw the results of that. It was a good momentum for us leading into the playoffs, so each W we can get is, is great for our momentum.